Fuller's Restaurant at the Sheraton in Seattle is the domain of the skillful chef Monique Barbeau. Born in Canada, she worked in New York at Le Bernardin, The Quilted Giraffe, and Chanterelle. She won a 1997 Robert Mondavi Culinary Award of Excellence. Here's the variety of shellfish with a tomato-based sauce. The base of the sauce is a tomato compote using peeled tomatoes. And once, um, to get the seeds out, it's best if you cut the tomatoes in, in the middle. And then with um, a glass bowl, or not a glass bowl, a bowl, you want to gently de-seed the tomato and just squeeze gently on the tomato and all the seeds will fall out. So you want a de-seeded tomato, no seeds. The seeds will cause a bitterness in the tomato paste. And then you want to rough chop the tomatoes. Just um, very rough, don't need to spend too much time chopping. You want to start cooking your tomatoes to begin the tomato paste and you want to make sure the pan's pretty hot. You want to you want to let all the um, water from the tomatoes evaporate so the tomato paste isn't really loose and watery. And you want to add a little shallot and garlic to that as it's cooking down. You can add some fresh herb to that. But before you add the fresh herb, do you want to deglaze with some red wine vinegar? And then when most of the liquid's evaporated, you want to deglaze with the um, red wine vinegar. And then once that's all reduced down, it, that would be your paste for the fricassee. Finally, fresh herbs. And then you can finish off with um, your fresh chopped herbs. A butter mixture will finish the tomato sauce. So you just add, um, you make a, a, almost like a compound butter with garlic and shallots and fresh parsley, and you want to season it with lemon juice and salt and pepper. And you want to keep, once it's all mixed together, you want to keep it in the refrigerator so it will emulsify nicely into the fresh tomato sauce. And a couple squirts of lemon, salt and pepper. And you can add a little more garlic if you prefer it to be a little garlicky, but equal parts garlic to shallot is about what you should do. And then you have the compound butter. Shallots are softened in olive oil using two pans for steaming the shellfish. You want to add a little white wine and some fish stock. Steam open your shellfish, saving the oysters to last because they don't take as long to cook. Making sure that the shellfish is being cleaned and the mussels have been de-bearded. The clams and mussels are cooked in separate pans, covered. After they have opened, the liquid in the pan becomes part of the sauce. The oysters will go in at the end. them to a, a pot to keep them warm while you finish your sauce. The clams are removed from the liquid, then the oysters are added. The oysters can be added in um, to one of the saute pans and just lightly poached. They are poached very quickly. You can also add um, seen scallops or any sort of um, mollusk to this dish. It's 
So now you have um, some white wine, the fish stock, some shallots to begin your sauce with. The cooking liquid begins the sauce. You want to add a little bit of heavy cream. Then you want to add your um, homemade tomato paste. Once that comes to a boil, you want to finish it with your garlic butter, a little lemon juice, and salt and pepper. The oysters can sit just on top. bit of your garlic butter. And finish cooking that. Basil chiffonade will garnish. And you want to finish the sauce with a little lemon juice, salt and pepper. Nappe the sauce over the shellfish. And then garnish it with a little basil. And that's the dish. Thank you.